Hello, welcome to the Liberated Multitasker. My name is Judy. Today I thought we'd make a burrito bowl. It's really quick and easy. But before we do that, why don't I go give you an update on our baby chicks. We moved our mobile coop next to the raised bed about two nights ago and put our two week old baby chicks in the coop. I was a little worried. It was gonna get down to 59 that night and we were expecting some rain. These baby chicks are not fully feathered, but they did just fine. These are barred Plymouth rocks, and I have at least one male, maybe two, and a total of seven chicks. I like to see them playing. For no reason, they'll just dart across the coop. They're having a big time. Now it's time to cook. I have one pound of ground beef that I already had in my freezer. So this is what I'm going to use. However, Walmart has a great value brand, one pound for $4.18. I'm gonna cut my stove top on. I'm gonna salt and pepper the beef. Now regardless of what dish I'm preparing, almost always salt and pepper the meat that I'm preparing. I'm just going to use my wooden spoon and just chop up this meat pretty finely and let it brown nicely. Don't forget when your ground beef is good and brown that you want to drain any excess fat off. This particular meat doesn't normally have a lot of fat, so you're probably not going to see me do that in this video. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this original recipe called for riced cauliflower, and I loved it in the dish, but I did not like it in the leftovers when we heated them up. So I'm just not gonna add that in this recipe. However, if you wanna stretch this meal, by all means, add some rice. Not only will it stretch your meal, but it will end up digging Increasing your cost per serving. Now because we're going to be adding beans to this dish later, I do not consider this a low carb recipe. However, I do consider it a healthy recipe. Now about those food preps I've mentioned before, these are bell peppers and onions I already had frozen and chopped. We're gonna add two tablespoons of taco seasoning. And then we're going to add some minced garlic. It's about two teaspoons. We're gonna mix this all up together. We want those onions and bell peppers to soften so we're gonna let this continue to cook for a while before we add our next set of ingredients. This is definitely a, a dish that I would consider 30 minute meal or less. It comes, to, it comes together pretty quickly. It is also a dish that I would consider freezable. I would freeze these leftovers, or I would make a couple of extra dishes all at once, and then I would um, freeze them in serving sizes, just as a convenience meal for later. It really can be a time saver just to have some of those convenient meals in the freezer. It's almost time to add our next ingredients. So we're gonna add a can of black beans. I've rinsed these several times before adding them. You can get the Great Value brand for 78 cents from Walmart. Just mixing this up really well. Now we're gonna add some diced tomatoes 
I have Rotel, so that's what I'm going to use, but you can get Great Value Diced Tomatoes from Walmart for 88 cents a can. Now just one more ingredient, and that's diced green chilies. I'm using what I have, but you can get the Great Value brand of diced green chilies for 78 cents a can. And we're just gonna stir all this together really well and let it simmer. I'd say we're gonna let it simmer for about 15 minutes. I really love how this dish looks with the, the bell peppers and the tomatoes and the chilies. It's just a very happy dish. Doesn't it look beautiful? I do wish you could smell it. It smells so good, but it still needs to simmer a little while longer. I have found that I'm adding these bell peppers to my dishes more often. It's a great way to sneak in some vegetables. And also, these peppers are high in vitamin C. So it's a win all the way around. While we're continuing to let this dish simmer, I would like to ask you what kind of dishes you would like to see from me in the future. I've noticed a couple of things that you seem to like or the few ingredient dishes or the no-bake desserts. But I'm wondering if you want one-pot meals, if you're wanting budget meals, or more baked goods, or you want to see more preserving. I have some chicken broth I need to preserve. I also have some of my grandmother's recipes that you may be interested in. So just comment below and give me an idea of the types of things you would see you would like to see from me in the future. And I will do my best to accommodate. Man, this is really coming together nicely. Just almost there. It just still needs to simmer a little bit longer. This is the hard part, being patient waiting for it to be ready so we can actually serve it up and eat it. I used to always have a hard time letting my dishes simmer long enough because I was so ready to eat them. So this dish can be made for $1.62 per serving. This dish is a six serving dish. Adding rice would definitely stretch it to serve more people. Doesn't this look nice? Please like, share, and subscribe, and I hope to see you soon.